Hello and welcome on The Watches TV. I am here in front of the Museum of Science in Geneva. We are introducing our new saga, Chronometry. We are going to speak about precision, to define it and to see what it involves into a watch. We are going to explore also the tourbillon and the carousel, those two complications that are very known now and uh, that help to make mechanism more precise. We are going also to ask some watchmakers about what does it mean to adjust a watch. And finally, we will push the doors of the COSC laboratory. The COSC is actually a label that certifies the accuracy of a movement. Before becoming electronic during the 70s, watches were powered by a tiny mechanism called movements or calibers. A simple movement contains about 150 minuscule parts that have to be produced and then adjusted to function perfectly with one another. The goal is for the movement to run perfectly and uniformly under any condition. This means that it has to resist to shock, temperature and pressure variations as well as magnetic fields and this 24-7. The improvement of precision through the ages has had a big impact on the history of the world. For instance, international trade would have never developed as it has since the 18th century without precise watches. Called chronometers, for their superior precision, they were a crucial instrument on board suffering vessels. Thanks to them, captains were able to define a ship's position by calculating longitude. Precise timekeeping was absolutely necessary, making chronometers the GPS of that era. Not surprisingly, the most innovative watchmakers of the time lived in England or France. John Harrison, for instance, an English watchmaker, invented the first fully functional marine chronometer, allowing the intrepid Captain James Cook to sail to New Zealand and back. Today, the challenge remains unchanged for mechanical watches. The goal is to always have minimum variation per day regardless of the environment. Of course, a number of improvements have helped, such as new material like silicon or new ways of engineering the movement. Nowadays, movement designers generally announce an average variation of 30 seconds per day for a mechanical watch. For a watch that has been chronometer certified by the COSC, it goes from minus 4 to plus 6 seconds for movements under 2 cm in diameter to minus 5 to plus 8 seconds for larger ones. If you convert this last delta into percentage, it would mean that your watch is 99.98% precise. Not bad. Just to compare, a Cox certified quartz movement varies between minus 25.5 to plus 25.5 seconds per year at the most. For this introduction, we asked Uwerk to lend us an EMC model that I am wearing now. This model actually combines the best of actual technology and the best of tradition. Tradition, why? Because inside the main movement is a completely traditional one, a mechanical movement that is manually winded and that is in decades time. What Uwerk added in this watch is a super capacitor that is able to measure the accuracy of this main movement. And how does it work? Actually, this supercapacitor is powered by the owner himself. To use it, you have to give it energy by moving crank and then to press a button. At this moment, you will have an optical sensor that will analyze the run of the balance wheel, which is inside the movement. It will show you if the watch goes too fast or too slow. And then, thanks to a little screw on the back, you are able yourself to adjust it. You have no better way to control yourself the precision of your mechanical watch. It is a brilliant idea from Uwerk because this is a traditional one. The difference is that you have inside a computer that can control its accuracy with a precision of 10 microseconds. Maybe the biggest question you have to ask yourself is how much precision do I need? If you want really the accurate time, you can watch your smartphone. But a good watch will still be very sufficient for day-to-day -day life and you will always catch your train on time if it's adjusted.